Hello, anyone and everyone. Welcome to Etrol Plays Wanba Warriors. Recommend playing with a controller. You got one. All right. Uh, I don't know what the difference between arcade and single is, so we're just gonna do single because we haven't done that. We've only really played on versus with friends, you know. And I'm the champion, like uh, amongst my friends. I don't, I don't want to say small fish in a big pond because, or big fish in a small pond, but. Uh, you know, your boy's the best. We don't ban. All right. Normally, when you play online, you ban. Wamba Warriors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, all right. Wamba Warriors step into. Uh, I'm gonna read my pre-made note. Step into a combat arena that plays like getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Square off in duels of great skill and power, utilizing hilarious swing-based fighting with ridiculous powers to boot. Show your friends who is the truest Wamba Warrior. Boom. Uh, developed by Big U, who has developed this and the DLC. This game is very cheap. It's only, what, $3? I think 3 or $4 right now. It's ridiculously cheap. A little indie project uh, published by Zodiac Interactive. They don't have much out right now, but they have a cool-looking Battle Royale that's supposed to be coming up this year and a cool-looking roguelite that's supposed to be coming up this year. I just looked at what they have announced. All right, let's get a go. All right, so uh, in this game, you have, you know, the first row is the basic characters. The second row are the characters for the DLC. The DLC was, like, only $2, so why not support this local company? I will get... Someone very basic, like, sorry, like, ding, and my backup, just to be zesty, will be radish. What is this? Am I picking my opponents? All right, well, my opponent then will be my brother, Bing, and it will be ye. I, won, I, I guess this is what happens when I pick my phone. Yep, yes I do. Alright, so if you're wondering right off the bat, uh, why are you playing this dueling game by yourself? Because I can't get anyone to play with me because I beat all my friends and they're really embarrassed and don't like playing with me. As you can see, I'm beating the shit out of the pot. Yeah, each character has their own weapon. Or, you know, they all basically, each weapon is basically the same. I say basically because there are longer weapons, shorter weapons, some with curves and hooks. Obviously, this guy has a crossbow. And that's his gimmick. You see, oh! My gimmick is I can jump in air. Like, see, I can do like a little, whenever I have a yellow bar, I can do a little bunny hop. Alright, we're gonna try and kill this guy. That's my ultimate. Oh no! Uh, and now he's gonna kill me with his ultimate. This is gonna prove. This is embarrassing. You're just gonna prove to everyone that my friends are worse than the bots. But comparatively. Ah! This bot is way harder. Like, you know. People you've seen on the channel a few times, maybe, like non applicable. Hey, we got the first blood. Fortunately, we didn't lose it. So, you saw we picked two people. So, it's sort of like, you know. Ooh. I love, uh, you can knock people into the health bars of the bug. Ah, I died. I don't know if you, so this guy is special. Is he makes swords spawn around him. His spear itself is extremely small. It's just a staff, but he constantly produces swords around him that you can break if you're the opponent. But if you're him, you want to use those swords to try and swing on me. The guy I'm playing as is Radish. As you just saw right there, I put a radish in the ground. Sorry, this is the timer. This happens every once in a while so people can't camp. And if you saw that giant radish hit that guy, that's because my guy makes radishes. That blow up if given enough time. Uh-oh. Swordmaster. His ultimate is he just gets a really big sword. That's all right. And my ultimate is Quadra Bomb. And he's dead. Like that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first round of Wamba Warriors. Oh, yeah, I, every time I tried to record this with friends, I would try to get people to play this with me, and then, like, you know, you got Fly Randall or Anthony, he would always just be like, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, I'll record. But then the second I want to record, he's like, sorry, I'd much rather play Call of Duty because he knows he didn't want to get recorded getting beat, which is embarrassing. All right, let's switch it up. We're going to be just sort of another character. We, there's only four minutes for that round. We're going to play Doozy. I guess I should have played arcade mode. Let's play arcade mode. I want to play online because I, I don't know how, lo how the online community is. Let's let's see. No, YOLO. Hmm. 
No one in the world. Because I beat everyone. Alright, we're gonna go back to this. Again, this game is only five dollars or less than five dollars, which is ridiculous and extremely fun. I, I it's mind boggling how like few how few people have played it or are playing it right now. It it just came out this month? Yeah. Alright, and we're gonna go go in the arcade. Uh, meta, always ban fish. That's just the rule. Uh, my buddy plays it. It's irrelevant because he never gets to play. Um, actually, I let him play the fish and I beat him. So I don't know why I banned the fish anymore. The bee god's broken. And just to show you some variety, let's play as Gratos. And let's play as somebody weird. Somebody weird like... You know, the bee god. Like I just said. All right. And they go against the stinky guy and the money gambler. That's not their names. I think his name is Mahjong. And I don't know what the stinky guy's name is, but stinky guy is annoying because he can constantly do a little spray, as you saw. I am playing as Gratos. And I should throw my axe. Like that, and I can call it back forth. Also, Rados has a very long weapon. Kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. Oh, I missed. I, I that guy, but hey. And then wait for him to get complete. Oh no, we missed. That's all right. Ah, I could. Can I just sit that? Who gets hit by the out-of-bounds circle? I got hit by the out-of-bounds circle. Uh-oh. Alright, time to call our ultimate because we're just getting sprayed with poison. Hit Kratos' ultimate is the Marksman Ambush. Where just a volley of arrows appear from his side of the map. Okay, that guy's ultimate, though, is Stinky Odor, where he's just a stinky boy. Let's go, oh, shit. Oh no. What have we done to ourselves? Perfect! Boom! We called back our axe just to slam it down. Gratos' axe is probably one of the longest weapons in the game, I think. But, he can make it even longer, like a jerk. Ah! If you're wondering what these coins are, the guy that I'm fighting right now, Mahjong, oh, I'm dead. His whole gimmick is he tries to get those coins that he gets summoned with his normal ability. And then when he uses his ultimate, he can start shooting those coins. Oh no. I'm gonna die with this. Alright, I am playing as Basket, the Bee God! Alright, seven swarms of bees. That guy's gonna try and mahjong on me. Yes, I think he is. Nope. Keep him at bay. Michael. Bay. Oh no, he's gonna get... Away from those two coins. Yes, keep him at bay. So the B guy plays completely differently because he can just play the. I was gonna make some type of B pun, but there was no. He plays B fence. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, next opponent. We're fighting Doozy and uh, Lee Sin. Or I don't know. I think his name's actually just Foot. Oh no. Yeah, you can tell by his foot weapon and his special ability is just a kick. Well, it's not just a kick. It's like a forward little dash. It's very good. I hope you guys can't hear my dog scratching at the door. Uh-oh. There it is. Gratos is dangerous because you always got to watch for the ah! For the axe. Yeah! Oh, I thought we were going to be smart and throw that at him. You guys just wait for this to get professional Wanda Warrior tournament, and your boy, not on Gratos, but your boy will be there. Boom! Drop the axe on, he's about to use his ultimate, and that's gonna kill me. Ooh! <laughs> I thought that would do a lot more. Marksman's ambush! Oh, he's just getting hit by every single one. <laughs> Stupid bot. <clears throat> Alright. I like to say that my friends would probably do better than that in that scenario. Ah. Oh. I'd like to say. But, you know, who knows? Oh! 
That's actually my favorite character, that fly boy. I love him so much. Doozy. His ultimate is, his ability is lets him float, which is very good for misdirection in this game, because everybody, once you get playing, everyone gets you. Oh! My body weight! Drop the beads on him. Yeah. He's able to instantly stop his momentum by flying. Which is so good. Especially in this game where half the game is just predictions or just knowing how the body's moving in the game. Oh, he just gets the guy down with these because he's trying to hide from the storm. It's fine. We don't mind getting. Oh no, he's gonna kill us! He's gonna get above us! No! So this guy's ultimate is called, uh, Sky Poopy? I know, right? What a great name. I honestly love it. Oh no! And. So his goal was to get above us, but we did not allow it because we are swift! Wah! This is not a team I normally use. These aren't my go-to characters. I like Grados, he's good. I just don't really use him that often. And the B guy, I feel, is too easy. Because you just... Ugh. So this guy's ultimate. Oh my god. Oh, I've never... So that's how you play as him. Whenever I played as that guy before... So his whole thing is he can shoot shadows of himself. Except the shadows of himself take out his actual health. Oops, I don't want to get that close. Oh no! You launched me into my. Uh, right. I launched myself into my own special. Haha, I shot that at him. And then we. Nope, we did that wrong. Trying some axe play. See, that guy, I feel like, this guy, and there's another guy that's like him. He's like, I think, Mad Ding. Ooh! -hoo! Oh, Devil Ding. Devil Ding and Ghost. Who I still like to think Ghost is a ghost thing. Uh oh. That's me. That's me. And then the bop. The guy that, the first guy we were fighting was there that he shoots images of himself that cost his life but do a bunch of damage. And then his ultimate is he calls back the images and it gives him a shield. Alright, this guy, he's getting the base. This guy plays like a Pikachu because he's electric. And then whenever he gets his the tip of his staff under you, he uses Thunderbolts. Oh wow, this guy's beating me up, really? Oh, he's beating me up bad. Oh, this might be the end of the video. This rate. Oh yeah, definitely at this rate. Uh oh, his. I don't know. So this guy's like a lightning guy, but like his ultimate is like he summons a monkey sidekick, which I don't really get. But like whatever. Ah, he's dead. He finally is out. That, I feel like that's a good showing. I wish I could have played this with some other people, but I'll just call them out now. Like, Aaron's a coward, Anthony's a coward, um, Hunter, he's a coward, Sleeps is a coward, but they won't ever see this message because they don't watch my videos. Uh, love you guys, uh, as in you guys watching the videos, not those guys. But, love you guys, viewer, viewer, viewettes. Uh, feel free to like the, the video, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. It really helps the channel. I know these are some shorter videos, so I'm hoping it's like keeping attention, you know. But, uh, yeah, this game came out March 26th. I said this month earlier, but yeah. Uh, Wombo Warriors came out March 26th, 2020. Less than five dollars right now, DLC included. Less than ten. That's ridiculous. Um, very fun game, highly recommended. Not many people playing it online right now, which is very unfortunate, but at that price, you could easily get some friends. You could play some, uh, sp uh you could play a uh, remote play together because Steam has that now. You could do local. I oh, know it's only five dollars. If you can't get that amongst you and your friends, I, I don't want to say, <laughs> but I, I highly recommend the game. Extremely fun. Uh, I hope to see other people playing this game because I thoroughly enjoy it and I could only hope to see it blow up. But small indie games, so what do you expect? Uh, all right. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. This thing is called Riding the Bull.